Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons like diamonds. Got Luke Simons like diamonds. We're here talking about the power of on the water fishing reports. This is really the basis of our insider club. Of course, now we have discounts on tackle. We have people save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on their tackle. We have some proprietary tackle that you can't get anywhere else. And, uh, you know, now we have a massive community, 27,000 members and, and all kinds of of uh, courses and the mini courses. I mean, a massive library. I think we have like 50 different courses now on everything from different species to fishing different types of areas and different types of structure. Uh, some really cool mastery courses. And uh, there's a whole lot that goes into it. And then we have now tackle uh, reviews, like side-by-side -side comparisons, the stuff that we won't show out there on uh, on YouTube. So we're really getting there because we don't have any sponsors. I mean, we're, we're telling the good, the bad, the ugly about these different brands and putting them side-by-side uh, on the water. So brings me to the on the water thing. That was that was really one of the, the number one things that Luke and I were looking for way back in the day when we were transitioning from from bass fishermen. You know, we grew up in central Florida and uh, Luke was quite the bass angler. I was uh, decent and uh, we caught our first snook. Remember we were in Marco Island? Remember we uh, we had our first like good luck. It, it's a really big snook. And we were like, man, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, we, we got we to gotta figure out this inshore saltwater game, right? I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah, but, and, but going from freshwater to saltwater, it was, it was very intimidating, yeah. um, right? Saltwater just has a lot, more, a lot more different elements. You have a lot more current flow. You have oysters. You have a lot more sharp objects. Oh, you got a thing called tides. <laughs> yeah, a thing called tides. <laughs> And, and just, and just a lot of different species, right? Bass fishing, you catch a bass and next fish is going to be bass and then so on and so forth. Whereas saltwater, every cast can be a different species and it could be a, one cast could be a six inch trout and next cast is six foot tarpon. And so there's just a lot more into it. But as, as we learn more and as we started doing it more, especially like looking back, it, there's a lot more similarities than I thought as well, but it, it really comes down to finding the fish and, and the best way to do that, that we found on both learning ourselves and from teaching it to others is on the water, just real time fishing reports. Yeah, but it, uh, that, didn't, that didn't happen overnight, though. Right. And this, oh, yeah. this, this is the problem, right? Because it is all about finding the fish. That, that is the number one goal. And if that's not your goal right now, if you're thinking I need a new shiny lure, slam shady. Yeah, we love them. You, can, you should buy them. They catch fish, but you're not going to catch any fish with them if you're not in the feeding zone. So it all goes back to finding the fish. So our journey, and, and maybe similar to yours, is we tried a lot of things. I mean, we tried fishing magazines, right? And, and I'm not trying to poop on the magazines. I still subscribe to some of the magazines. And, and occasionally I learn something. But let's face it, by the time a magazine hits your doorstep, it's 90 days old, if not 120 days old, right? They have to they have to publish all this stuff way in advance to get them on the printer to get them out. This stuff's done way in advance and they reuse a lot of stuff. It's, it's kind of generic tips. It's mostly a bunch of advertising, let's be honest, but they're still good. I even like looking at some of the advertising. We all, we're consumers, we like to buy stuff. So I like magazines. Once again, I'm a subscriber, uh, but it's not going to help you find the fish. It's, it's just not. I mean, they serve advertisers. And, and when I say serve, that means who's paying you, right? In any kind of business, whoever's paying you is who you serve. No matter how you want to spin it, whoever's paying you is who you serve. And, and then next, we tried fishing TV shows, right? We watched a lot of shows. And there were some, back in the day, there were I felt like they were more helpful. Like Bill Dance, still give kudos to Bill Dance. He always focused on like truly helping. I mean, he used to actually show maps and like show people like exactly where to fish. He was super, super into finding the fish. I feel like today's shows, for the most part, are a bunch of product placements and advertisements and it's just like a highlight reel right it's 21 minutes and that's usually three days of fishing so it's like highlights of three days of fishing packed into like a 21 minute episode where their biggest goal is to catch some fish and highlight their sponsors because sponsors pay for 100 of shows so guys that are fishing tv shows they ain't serving you they're serving their sponsors and there's nothing wrong with that but that's just how it is and so we realized all right Fishing shows probably aren't the best way to really learn how to find the fish, right? Because another thing we talked about magazines, by the time a fishing show hits the TV, it's nine months old. I mean, the people who have a show coming out here in 2022, they've already filmed it. It's already been done back in 2021. By the time it airs, the fish are in a different zip code. So it's not that helpful for finding the fish, if that's your goal. If it's for entertainment, I love fishing shows. I still watch fishing TV shows. I'm not trying to poo-poo on them, but it's not the answer to help you find the fish. 
The next thing was YouTube. And we're on YouTube. We have a couple hundred thousand subscribers. We, we use YouTube every single day. We love it. But there's a really big problem with YouTube, isn't it, Luke? Remember, remember the, the one search, just one. It was how to catch redfish. Do you remember how many different videos came up for how to catch redfish for that one hundred thousand it was it was just a crazy amount hundred and thirty it was like one hundred and thirty seven thousand that's nuts that's nuts and if the average one was like five minutes long it would take you over two years if you did nothing if you never even fished you sat home and watched video after video it would take you two years just to watch all the videos so if you haven't figured out what the problem with youtube is yet it's information overload right with all kinds of different people and different tactics. And like, I remember the very first one, it was like 30 minutes or 15 or 30 minutes long. One of the first one and two and one was in Texas. One was like in Virginia. Like we were number three and they were all different. Like if you just watch the first 10 videos on YouTube on how to catch redfish, you would end up confused because they were all over the place and they weren't really teaching you how to find the fish. Even ours. Like we, I'll just be honest. We hold out all of our best stuff for insider club. So everything you see on YouTube, it's honestly kind of teasers to get you to join the club, right? I mean, we're, we want to be helpful. Obviously, it's part of our mission. We, we And there's plenty of people that said, man, I feel like I got so much help from your free stuff. Awesome. Like, that is the goal. But we always reserve the best stuff for our members because it's stuff that we would have paid a fortune for once we became people of of having jobs, right? Because once you have a job, like you have responsibilities and you're working and your time is now valuable. Valuable. We didn't get that when we were in high school, but as soon as we got our first jobs and now I got family and responsibilities and dogs and all this stuff, like you realize how valuable our time is. Like, man, we would pay a fortune for someone to show us on the water footage, like real time, like on demand on how to find the fish. So that has been our focus of the Insider Club. And this year for you members, you've probably noticed quite an increase in our fishing coaches and the on the water reports. In fact, we're doing one every single day, Monday through Friday, a new on the water report, like real time, like this is happening right now. So like Luke went out, but yesterday in the reports going up today and, and literally shows everything from where he launched the boat or the kayak or, or fishing from shore, you know, to where he caught fish, where he missed fish, where the bait was. I mean, what lures were used, literally showing everything from start to finish. There's not a highlight reel and, and even the mistakes you can learn so much from. And it's so, so valuable. And that's where we get all our feedback, right? Everyone's like, man, this stuff is priceless. I get to see someone, a real fishing coach who's on the water every week, go fish a brand new spot every single day and report on everything, not just the trip, but even the pre-trip analysis, we show you what happened the day before when we were on our own satellite maps. And sometimes it changes because that's real life, right? It, it, not every plan is perfect. Sometimes we have to completely pivot. We go to the spot we thought was going to be our A spot. And it turns out at what? You have to go to the B spot. And we show all that and then do a post-trip analysis. So we're doing this podcast because I know a lot of you haven't joined the club. And for those of you who have, you might not be watching all these videos. Let me tell you something. Your, your spot's not that different, right? Your area is not that different. Luke uses the same tactics on both sides of the coast. We fish in other states. I mean, I lived in Georgia and Texas for many years on each. We use the same exact same tactics, same lures, same strategies on finding the fish in all these different places. Yes, there are certainly nuances. When I was in Brunswick, Georgia last year, yeah, there's a seven foot tidal swing. It's a whole lot different than Tampa Bay, but I still use the exact same lures and I still use the same strategies to find the fish. We have Wyatt over there in Texas and he also fishes in North Carolina. Same thing, he's using the exact same stuff. So this stuff does work everywhere. So you current members, please, please, please watch these. Every single Monday night at seven o'clock, you get an email from us with a new on the water report. Guess what? Same thing happens Tuesday at seven. Same thing happens Wednesday at seven. Same thing happened Thursday at seven. And Friday, literally every single night on, a, on the weekday, you're getting a new report with all of this on the water report. It is priceless. And if you haven't joined, that should be the first thing you do. And then if you're still so crazy busy, you can't watch any of these reports. Luke on Friday, he goes through all of them, including everything in our online community, all the fishing reports there. And he curates it into 10 minutes or less. It's, I mean, it's priceless stuff. It is the absolute easiest way to help you find the fish in your area. If you love catching in, inshore fish, this is not for swordfish and stuff offshore. This is really for inshore saltwater fish. You know, mostly redfish and speckled trout, snook and flounder, but we go into tarpon and triple tail and, and sheep's head, you know, right now as we're recording this is a, is a hot one. So we, we do all these different species, but Luke, do you mind pulling it up? Let, let's go in and actually show 
what this looks like. Uh, so for those of you who, who aren't members yet, hopefully you join us today, you can see exactly uh, what we're doing here for our members. And this is on top of the discounts and the community and everything else. These are just the insert reports. And by the way, what Luke, we've been doing these for five years. So, yeah, we, so have we have five years and, and there's, there's also this tool that you can analyze the trend. So with, from all these reports over five years, again, we're doing on a, at least a weekly basis, if you want to catch spread fish, sea trout, snook, flounder, tarp, and snapper, black drum, you can select them. If you're about to go out, your next trip is going to be clear weather uh, and incoming tide and cloudy water, right? You can select those and apply the filter and you're going to see the reports that were all done in those exact conditions. And you can click on it and watch exactly to see what exactly what happened. And, and, in, and, in these and we posts, don't hide anything, by the way, like that map view. I mean, you, we're not going to show you everything here because you know, this is for members only, but we literally show our spots. I mean, we're showing exactly where we're fishing. Uh, priceless stuff. Yeah. So in this post, we go through the pre-trip analysis. So we record what we're doing, the strategies that, that, we, that were in our minds as we select the spots we're going to go. We're going to go fish. We incorporate the tides, the weather, the, the recent feeding trends, obviously, uh, we're not just going back to old spots over and over again. That's the biggest mistake most people make. That's what we made for many years. We, we know from experience. Then we have the on-water footage where you can see the fun stuff, right? You can see what happened, uh, fun, entertaining videos, you know, all this, these are a little bit longer because they're fun, right? You can just see what's happening. Um, obviously, the more fish catching, the longer it is. Some are a little bit shorter and we just go through uh, the mistakes we learned and then the post-trip analysis. So after we get back, we go through and, and just summarize and show on Google Maps exactly where all the fish we were seeing and on the type of spots that they were holding and explain why and, and too, right? So based on the wind, based on the season and based on our assumptions, hey, here's what really happened. In this case, this assumption was spot on. So like make sure to do that on your next trip. And then, hey, this assumption ended up not working out so right. And here's, here's why we think that was so that you can incorporate your next trip. And as Joe mentioned, right? Like a, a magazine or TV show, when they're just showing some of the highlights, this is basically like the TV show, right? Or like a YouTube video, it's just fun stuff. Um, but these are different than like a TV show or magazine that, that are like three to six months old by the time they, they go live. These are like three to six days old. Like these are, these are real time. Sometimes, yeah, less than 24 hours. I mean, yeah, yeah, sometimes less, but, but the average is going to be three to six range. It, but most importantly, it's just going to be have real time intel. And, uh, and then you can have, you can see all the trip details and links to get whatever equipment you might not have yet. Uh, just super, super helpful. And so if you're listening, let's describe a little bit more there. We list everything from what we were fishing in that we said we have boats, skiffs, kayaks, and wade fishing, uh, and even yeah. some jetties. Uh, and then we talk about everything from the temperature to what the tide was doing to the rods, reels, the leader, literally everything is in there. And and then also, just as importantly, Huge. is the Q&A at the bottom. So we have, these are all interactive, where as if you remember, you can ask the, the author, you know, the, 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 cat, the coach, a question and get a quick answer, right? You can scroll through. There's 67 Q&As, 67 different chats on here, and there's just a wealth of information in a lot of these. So, so again, if you have questions, if something wasn't making sense, uh, or hey, like what if what if we did this, right? You can see all sorts of really cool intel in there, and uh, and as said, super super helpful. Like this this report was just from just like from last week, right? And like, we have all these others on top of it. And then even for like I site went to explore some new areas, site fish this nice snook up in shallow water, and then go in there and show exactly where it was, right? And go through all the all the pre trips, the same exact deal where um, just again, this is all to maximize your time. You can see it's all short, a lot of bulleted lists. This isn't like a really long, expansive thing just to, to kill a bunch of time. It's all about just helping you find the fish as easy as possible with the least effort possible. Yep. And, and that's and, the, the premise. And, and he, here's another reason why this is so powerful. And, and, and I want you to imagine you're about to go to a new fishing spot this weekend. Maybe you're, in a, you're on vacation, you're, you're doing something new. And that, that by the way, the, the best way to find new fishing spots is to fish new fishing spots, right? We want to give you a head start and some shortcuts on it. So imagine you're in a new area and you go in our community and say, hey, hey guys, uh, I'm fishing uh, here at you know XYZ in Fort Myers, let's just say Florida. Uh, do you guys have any help there? And we have a thing that we've done for a long time called a spot dissection. And, and pretty much for every major area, we have a spot dissection. And that means we get on a satellite map 
and and dig through that area and literally show you the best places to fish and, and where we would focus on. And that's great, right? You can learn a lot from a satellite map, but what you can't learn is what to actually do when you're there. And that's the number one thing that most anglers, even experienced anglers who aren't on the water every, every single day, right? Because that's part of the problem. Things change, right? And what you see on a satellite map never looks the same when you actually get out there. The, the mangrove lines are always longer. The flats are always bigger and wider and expansive. And it just, it can be super, super intimidating. So imagine you're going to that new spot. Or you're, you're wanting to, you got family in town. You want to put people on fish. And instead of just getting a little dissection, which are super helpful, you literally get to go see one of our fishing coaches fish that area. Like how powerful is that? I mean, literally watching exactly where they fished and then getting the post-trip and the pre-trip analysis of, of why they went in there and what happened. It, it is priceless. You get to see what the docks look like that they fished. I mean, it is a bird's eye view. I mean, you feel like you're on their shoulder of seeing exactly what they did and your confidence is going to go sky high. Cause you're like, man, I, I know what this area looks like already. I just saw Justin or Tony or White or, or Luke or, or Pat or Richard fish it, you know, just, uh, just last week. Uh, it gives you such an upper hand on how to find the fish, which is once again, the goal. If you can find the fish, everything else comes into place. Everything else is easier. You don't need a fancy boat. You don't need all this crazy new stuff. If you can find the fish, you will catch more fish. Uh, and we guarantee it, right? And that's that's one of our big uh, big promises. So that's why we put such a big focus on this. And, and we wanted to highlight it in this, uh, this video is to show you what we're doing five days a week all year long. And now we have, as Luke said, what, almost five years, like a massive library covering a lot of areas. If you're listening here, Luke is showing a map with uh, just the different reports and you can't see land except a couple places in Louisiana. It's literally covered all the way down uh, from fishing reports. I mean, that's pretty, pretty spectacular. So talk about that real quick. Yeah, so this is our master map. This is the master map inside the, the Insider Club platform. And this is this encompasses the insider reports that we were just talking about, where we go out and fish, where a fishing coach is, does it, or this is the yellow and blue. And then the red are community reports. So we now have over 20, 27,000 members, as Joe mentioned, and you know, post fish reports. Uh, again, with a lot of helpful information, this is private. And, and there's a filter too. Oh, I just lost it. Uh, there's a filter where you can actually sort it by by month. So if you're going to be fishing, this is like the the master uh, analyzer tool. If your search, so you say you're going to be fishing in January, um, right? Select January, and now so these are all the pins from just one month, right? Over those couple of years, so you can see the trends based on that that season, that particular month. Super super helpful. And and uh, and again, just the the original tool. This is where you can just search the Insider Club, the Insider Reports only. And uh, this is just where the, the, the most information is, where it goes through the entire synopsis. All of them can be helpful. Most importantly, they're all there right at your fingertips in a nice, just easy to find uh, platform. Yep. So this thing, when Luke says insider report, for those of you who aren't members, that means the on the water report. So every one of these, uh, do we know how many are on there of these on the water reports? Does it say how many? Uh, I don't think, I don't know. I don't have a count, but there's, I mean, you can be scrolling through for a very long time. Yeah. And it's every type of, of fishery and area you can imagine. And once again, with six full-time coaches who are now doing this every week. And, they, and our goal is to go fish new spots. I mean, we're like you. We want to find the fish. And the best way to get new honey holes is to find new honey holes. And that's why we're not afraid to show our exact spots where we are fishing and catching fish because we're always on the search for, for new places. And fish do move, right? And, and that was another big difference from bass fishing, right? I mean, Bass are confined in most cases to one lake, right? There, there might be some canals and they can go to a couple, but for the most part, they don't leave their lake. I mean, bass kind of like their same little area all year long, no matter what, okay? Saltwater fish a little bit different. There's these things called inlets and passes, and they like to go migrate and spawn and do different, like it's a game changer. And so that's just one more reason this on the water stuff is so critical. It's all about the trends and it's all about helping you find the fish, it is shortcut central and we have cheat sheets and stuff because we know everyone does learn differently. Not everyone wants to watch video. The majority of people seem to from all the feedback that we've had over the six years of, uh, of doing this, but we do have it in text and, you know, we do have it in uh, just literally super simple bullet points. And then we have that curated video every Friday of just 10 minutes. So if, 
You had nothing else but love buying tackle and getting discounts, love being part of a cool online community, and you know had ten minutes a week, right? Just to become a better angler, then then it will be a massive massive win for you. It'll be the best fishing investment you've ever had because that ten minutes will literally give you more intel than. I would, I would be willing to bet any other recreational angler out there. Obviously, the guides, the people are on the water every week. They have a massive advantage. They're on the water every single day. Uh, but that's what this is doing, right? I mean, you're literally getting to hear from coaches who are on the water every single week, every some every single day, and, and giving you intel on exactly what's happening, exactly where the redfish and trout and snook are, the type of structure, the type of depth, what they're feeding on, the size bait or lure to use. And that stuff is priceless. So if your goal this year – here in 2022 as we're recording this is to find more fish and ultimately catch more fish right because that's what we all hear right is man just show me where they are and i'll catch them cool we're gonna do it right and we have some other tools we're working on for our members that are gonna take it to a whole nother level of helping you find the fish just trying to shorten that learning curve over and over again but for now this on the water stuff is absolutely priceless and uh, we wanted to highlight it for you People who have not joined us, we hope you join us today at saltstrom.com. And if, uh, if you have and you're already a member, definitely be looking and looking for those 7 p.m. emails and watching all of them. I'm telling you that it was tough for me because I didn't get it at first. This whole your area is not that much different. But I started watching some of Wyatt's, you know, incident reports in Texas. And I'm learning from those. I mean, big time learning. And I'm like, man, I could I could recreate that here where I am. I got a spot that looks just like that same kind of oyster bar. Uh, I mean, it, it's really, really powerful when you start applying uh, other areas and tactics and trends from other areas to yours. It, it all starts clicking you together so much faster. Yeah, these reports too, it's, it's just a recipe. So every one of those reports, yep. it's a full recipe from start to finish on the pre-trip plan, on just the thought process and the strategy on, on what, where these fish are doing based on the conditions, what we expect them to do, then show what happens, right? So, you know, these, this is exactly where we're right. This is where we're wrong. And then, and then the post trip is just, hey, here's exactly what happened. And then, and then the, every Friday is, hey, based on the upcoming weather and the most recent feeding trends, here's what you should be doing. And we give tips on on how to catch the the quality fish, right? If you're really going after some giant fish, like for those experienced people, we have a lot of full time fishing guides. This isn't just for newbies. We have a lot of full time fishing guides who are members just to, just to see the latest and greatest trends. And although a lot of new people do join, they're not newbies for very long yep. because it just makes, it takes the learning curve. It just shortens it down so much. We've had countless members who started off very new and then are now in the profession of being a fishing guide uh, or in Tony's ca case, a coach. He went from yep. really just a bass angler, never catching fish to now an actual coach. And it's just all there. It's the, it's the quickest way to get very good and consistent at catching fish and, uh, and it's just done as as easy as possible and we're continually improving it too it's all interactive we we listen to to all members and and we make uh we make changes and simplifications uh really on a weekly basis just to make the site as quick and easy to use as possible so that you can just maximize your time in the water and and as joe mentioned right it's all about who uh you know as far as who's serving you it's it's really okay you know the, the payment is a big thing and how confident are the person serving you? You know, what's, what's the uh, way to determine that? The guarantee, right? Yep. And so we have the biggest, boldest guarantee in the industry for all annual members, which is what most people do. You have an entire year to make sure you love it. So you can be the last day of the year, 364th day. And if you don't think you're catching way more fish than ever before, saving money on your tackle and meeting a lot of new friends, just let us know. We'll give you all your money back. And, uh, it rarely ever comes up, and uh, and we're, and that's just the again the the boldest guarantee out there, and and uh, and, and we do it because we know you're going to love. It. Yeah, and, and we wish we wish all companies treated us that way, right? I wish, don't you, that every single product or service you ever invested in gave you a 365 day 100 percent money back guarantee, like no questions asked. Of course, and that's why we did it. We're we're confident, and we do serve you. This is anglers helping anglers. I mean, you, we. <laughs> Once again, a company serves whoever's paying them, right? And so if it's advertisers paying them, at the end of the day, that's who they're serving. That's who they kind of have to bow down to and say yes to and make changes for. We only serve anglers. We have we have rejected every single sponsorship that has come our way, just so you guys know it, because now we have 27,000 members and a, a really big channel and a pretty big following. As you can imagine, we've had a lot of different manufacturers reach out to us about sponsorships, and we've said no to every single one for that reason. It's like, we serve anglers. 
And the second we take money from you, now we're now we're having to serve you. No, we serve anglers. Give us some discounts to our members, right? You know, let let them kind of piggyback on the size of this club. So we have certainly done that. That's just all going back to you because you guys are our clients. You're you're who we serve. So I hope that makes sense. It's incredibly important. It's something that was uh, I learned, you know, through through all business and uh, and, and creating a couple of different companies. It's uh, incredibly powerful, and uh, and we've stayed focused to that and stayed true to that since uh, since day one. And uh, and if there's anything we could do to better serve you. Uh, let us know, you know, in that private community, Luke and I and the fishing coaches, we're in there every single day. And uh, we'd love to hear from you, any questions you have. And, uh, and of course, if you haven't joined yet and still have questions, you know, post a comment down below. We, we'd love to hear from you if there's anything that that uh, is not clear, if you're still on the fence. And and, and first, though, go to saltstrom.com and, and go up to that join the club and you'll probably get a lot of your questions answered there. But if there's still something, let us know. Put a comment down in the in the common area on a preferably on the salt from the com in the fishing tip section like in the actual site that comes right to us and uh, we'd love to help out we'd love to love to see you in the club uh like i said twenty seven thousand plus members as we're recording this and new members joining every hour uh which is uh pretty cool to see new people come in and literally on the on the hour every single hour and uh it'll be really interesting to see how big this grows uh this year and how many new reports i mean now with six coaches all doing this every week uh, man, that is going to be some crazy valuable on the water intel. So join us if you haven't already for you current members. Thank you guys so much. You you are the foundation of this uh, company. We do serve you. We wake up thinking of ways to better serve you and create new shortcuts and, and new things for you. And got some really, really cool things coming on the technology side that I already, already teased on the last couple of podcasts. But uh, we had a, a long call today with our, our developer and uh, man, it's it's pretty sick. It's really neat stuff. Yeah, big things happening. The platform's already awesome. There's nothing else like it. There's nothing that comes close, which is which is why we offer this guarantee. Even yep. even just like if you use the if you're looking for some tips, just using the search feature that you can search for really any question you you have on inshore fishing and get some really really helpful stuff. And and it's only growing um, faster than ever before. And these new some of these new tech tools we have coming is is it's going to be amazing. Now, again, nothing that even comes close to it. So. Um, looking forward to another fun year of uh, of growth and and just helping just more people have more fun in the water. That's really our our number one goal. Um, every every decision we make is will this help our members catch more fish more easily? And if the answer is yes, we do it. If the answer is no, we don't we don't do it. Yep. Pretty simple. Yep. Cool. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it was uh, helpful and, and gives you a better understanding of why this on the water stuff is so powerful. And I don't think there's anything that could touch it for just finding the fish right in your area it is incredibly incredibly important so if you're not happy like if you're not 100 percent happy with how many fish you're catching per trip then join us you have nothing to lose and you will start catching more fish because you'll start finding more fish so i uh, hope to see you guys in there thank you so much and we'll talk to you in the next episode peace see ya